Ladies and gentlemen, on the last problem we need to do is let's say I say graph this one. Well, we're just going to go through all the rhythm, right? You say, OK, find the vertical asymptote. Vertical asymptote is when x minus 4 equals 0, so x equals 4. All right? But before I go and start to graph it, I stop and I say, wait a minute. We can always want to see, is there something that we can factor out of our problem anytime we can simplify it? And what you guys notice is if I can actually factor my numerator, right? Before I even go to horizontal, I could say this can be rewritten as x minus 4 times x plus 4. Well, that's divided by x minus 4. So before I even graph this horizontal asymptote, I notice that if I'm doing x divided by 4, x minus 4 divided by x minus 4, then really my function is just f of x equals x plus 4, right? That's really what my function is. It's just x plus 4. So I actually have a linear equation. Up to 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it looks like that. But then you say, Mr. McLogan, the original problem is written like this. We know that there's an asymptote at x equals 4. Well, ladies and gentlemen, when we can simplify our polynomial, this is no longer an asymptote. However, what it is is a, a point of discontinuity, meaning that this point is still not a part of our function. So this graph, all right, when we graph this, is now going to have a point of discontinuity, which would be at 4. So at 1, 2, 3, 4, I go up to my point, and now I'm going to have an open circle. So it's not going to be an asymptote, because we can simplify it. However, it's going to be a point of discontinuity. So a little FYI, always see if you guys can factor your problems to be able to eliminate any points of discontinuity, OK? And that's it. Two minutes, two minutes and four seconds. See? Perfect.